This is Eric Miles for PhotoEye. Thanks so much for listening to our weekly presentation. This week's auction listings are especially eclectic, ranging over almost every decade of the 20th century and into the 21st, beginning with this inexplicably scarce 2009 monograph, which is a collaboration between Glenn Luckford, the publisher Gerhard Steidel, and studio impresario Pascal Danguin. Luckford is one of the most celebrated fashion photographers of the last 20 years or so, and though he was far from the only one to do it, Luckford was a pioneer in merging the aesthetics of fashion and fine art photography. There's often this suggestion of narrative in his images. Think of Philip Lorca de Corsia or Gregory Crudson. His publisher describes his style as possessed of a Hitchcockian precision. Luckford also releases incredible gems from his archive on his Instagram, by the way, so be sure to check that out. Next up, the autumn 1921 issue of The Little Review, an iconic modernist journal of arts and letters. This one featuring the photographs of Konstantin Brancusi of his own sculptures in his studio. It also contained writings by the likes of William Carlos Williams, Jean Cocteau, Myrna Loy, and others, most famously Ezra Pound, who really saw Brancusi as producing pure and essential forms that approached the level of platonic quintessence. As he said, Brancusi created a universe, a cielo, a platonic heaven, full of pure and essential forms. Next up, a signed copy of Distortions by André Kertes. The Distortions series is, of course, one of the most iconic works of surrealism. As has been well documented, photography came to occupy a central place in surrealist activity. Certainly the Distortion series are among the most famous of surrealist photographs, and they were brought together complete for the first time in over 40 years for this volume. There is, of course, endless debate within the art historical literature as to whether this work by Kurtesh, as well as other surrealist photographers, notably Hans Bellmer, uh, is inherently misogynistic in its distortions of the female form. And while that certainly remains an open question, it's clear that the technique which Kurtesh employs in the distortions to radically destabilize objective reality and undermine the documentary function of photography makes them exemplary surrealist works. Next up, from 1951, we have Nudes by Martin Munkashi. Munkashi was, of course, one of the most famous photographers of the 20s and 30s who revolutionized fashion photography. His work with the nude figure shows a similar dynamism, and it's also influenced by modernist aesthetics in its dynamic compositions. And it also reflects a new idea of femininity, one that encouraged women to be athletic and energetic. Next up, Fina Torres, Neruda, Intiero y Testamento, an absolutely singular work of reportage from 1974. Included in the recent anthology, the Latin American photo book, Torres took pictures on the streets of Santiago, Chile, during the military coup that overthrew Allende. Just 10 days later, the beloved poet Neruda died in a Santiago hospital. Torres photographed the funeral procession, which turned into a massive demonstration. Torres was the only one allowed to photograph the vigil around Neruda's body, during which military thugs trashed the poet's house. And her photos poignantly capture this wreckage and the emptiness and pain at the center of this brutal overthrow. Well, that wraps up this week's presentation. As always, be sure to check out all of our auction listings. 
Thanks so much for listening. This is Eric Miles for PhotoEye.